Last week, UFC executive Jeff Novitska gave an interview with veteran announcer Bruce Buffer to give an update on John Jones' failed drug test. Some MMA media outlets misinterpreted his words and believed that Novitski implied Bones was likely innocent. The UFC vice president of athlete health and performance cleared up the confusion in a statement to MMA Fighting, stating that the United States anti-doping agency USADA and the UFC are still investigating the source of the drugs in Jones' system. The headline and corresponding article took excerpts from an interview I did last week, where I was asked about the status of John Jones' pending case, Novitski said, per Mark Ramondi. I indicated that John's camp, the UFC and USADA were all working hard and together to determine the source of the prohibited substance in Jen's system. That is still the case. I stated that this is often a lengthy process that can take up to several months to complete, but that possible sanctions based on the findings of a completed case ranged from a multi-year suspension, to a minimal, or no-fault sanction, if an unavoidable ingestion of the prohibited substance was determined. Jones, of course, tested positive for the steroid Marina Bolin in an competition drug test prior UFC 214. The light heavyweight talent knocked out Daniel Cormier in the main event to regain his title but was immediately stripped of the belt, and his win was overturned to a no contest by the California State Athletic Commission CSAC after news got out of his failed B sample. Cormier, 38, has been reinstated as the official champion and Jones has been removed from the UFC rankings. The Jackson Wink product also tested positive for clomiphene and letrozole last year and was suspended for 12 months. Given that Jones is a repeat offender, the former champ could be suspended for up to four years if it is proved that he took Tarina Bull intentionally. Notiski, of course, is hoping that ISNT the case but stated that there is no indication that Jones is innocent. While all parties are hoping to find evidence of the unintentional or unavoidable use of the prohibited substance, at no time during the interview did I indicate that there were developments leading in that direction, as was the inference of the headline, Novitsky said. Jones is one of the most controversial stars in the sport and was formerly considered the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world.